So I am a data analyst. I dig into what's happening right now in the company. I look at the current sales data, figure out the trends and explain the issues we are facing. For example, I analyzed company sales over the last few months and found that Gen Zs, that is the younger customers, aged between 18 to 25 are dropping off. So I used Excel, Tableau and SQL to crunch the numbers, create neat reports and make it crystal clear to the management why sales are dropping. So yeah, I tell the company why things are happening. Oh, is that it? So I'm a data scientist. You just tell them what's already happened, right? Cool, I guess. But while you are busy explaining the past, I'm out here predicting the future. So I pull in data from all, like sales numbers, social media trends, competitor prices, and even the weather. Then I build predictive models using Python and machine learning to actually forecast what's going to happen. Like when I ran simulations for company sales, my model said if we don't restock those out of stock items soon, sales will keep on dropping, especially with the impatient 18 to 25 crowd. You present what's already broken. I show how to fix it before it crashes. So tell me what's more useful. Useful, huh? Yeah. So let's talk about making things actually understandable. I use tools like Excel, Tableau and Power BI to turn mountains of numbers into easy to read reports and dashboards. SQL is my bread and butter for querying databases and functions like paper tables. And VLOOKUP in Excel helps me quickly find patterns that answer specific business questions. So basically, I make sure anyone in the company can understand what's going on without needing a PhD. Sure, you make things clear, right? But I make them intelligent. My toolkit goes way beyond Excel. I'm programming in Python, R and SQL using advanced libraries like Pandas, Matplotlib and Seaborn to dig deep into data. And while you are busy making reports, I am building machine learning models with TensorFlow and Keras to predict outcomes and automate tough decisions. I don't just show what's happening, okay? I create systems that learn and get smarter over time. You might help the business react, but I make sure they don't have to react. Keep in mind. So who's really keeping things running smoothly? Tell me. Ha. So someone has to keep things running day to day, okay? Now you might be focused on predictions, but we are the ones providing quick actionable insights that keep the company moving. All right. Now, not everyone needs to be an expert coder to make the difference. Most of us data analysts starts with a bachelor degree and businesses or you can say economics or maths. So we don't need advanced programming skills. We are experts with tools like Excel and SQL and that's more than enough to deliver real value. Quick things are fine. But when it comes to solving bigger problems, bigger, more complex problems, that's where we come in. As data scientists, we usually have at least master degree in fields like computer science or statistics. We don't just analyze data, okay? We build sophisticated systems using Python, R, Hadoop, and Spark. We automate decisions, making and forecast what's next. So the company doesn't just react, it stays ahead. Meanwhile, you are organizing Excel sheets, okay? I am making sure the company stays ahead of the game. So remind me again, who's the one driving the company forward? Excel sheets, huh? So I am providing real-time insights to decision makers while you are stuck turning your models for the billionth time, okay? Without me, management would have no idea what's actually going to day-to-day -day basis. So they rely on the reports that I create to keep the business running. So your predictions are nice, but if they can't understand them, so how's this going to help? Wow, okay. So if you think predicting the future and fixing problem is less important than your fancy charts, okay, you keep doing you. But when the company wants to make decisions based on data for the future, they know who to call, okay? While you are showing what happened, I'm out here building what will happen. Keep in mind. All right, so let's talk about salaries then. So we data analysts earn around six and a half lakhs a year because we turn raw data into something useful. So I work through data cleaning, data analysis, and data visualization all at once. When the company needs quick answers, I'm the one who provides them. Sure, you have your fancy algorithms, but I'm the one making data understandable and ready to take action. Fancy algorithms, right? More like powerful tools, okay? While you are busy digging into spreadsheets, I'm building models that solve problems before they even happen. That's why data scientists make 13 lakhs a year. 
we take it a step further. I'm not just looking at what happened, okay? I'm setting the company up to handle whatever comes next. So we are always ahead of the curve. But in reality, at the end of the day, both roles are really important for any company. Data analysts help the business tackle current problems by turning data into clear insights that people can use right on away. On the other hand, data scientists focus on planning for the future, creating systems that keep the company ahead. Together, they give a full picture what's happening now and what could happen next. So whether you prefer analyzing today's data or predicting tomorrow's trends, both careers have great opportunities and a strong future. But still, I rock because I turn data into gold, okay? Come on, I rock because I make machines do the thinking, okay? At least I can explain my work to somebody without a rocket science degree. At least my models predict the future. And what if when your fancy model breaks, who's gonna come to save the day? Me, right? While you're coloring your bar charts, I'm here building the algorithms, okay? Still, I'm the best. I'm the main guy, okay? I am the best, you know it. I'm the best, you know it.